This video is about the need to uh, create a Pan-American culture. Uh, some of the problems with uh, the way things are going is marginalized groups join other groups such as communism and uh, different... Uh, Islam has actually become popular. And uh, not just in the United States and Canada, but the Mapuche Indian tribe, a tribe that's indigenous to Chile and Argentina and um, Peru, I believe Peru, I'm not positive on that, have actually turned to Islam in Chile due to uh, be feeling marginalized due to the way the authorities treat them. And uh, you have to understand, a lot of these groups, these marginalized groups, in the United States, Hispanics, which will be the majority very soon, uh, feel marginalized due to the treatment by the whites, and they turn toward Islam. Uh, and Islam, these are the same groups that would turn to, say, uh, Wicca or Satanism or uh, communism or phony communism in the past. But they're now going straight to Islam because Islam is the most uh, <laughs> counterculture you can get, which is actually kind of funny because it's super, super strict conservatism. But the problem is, it is anti-Western, severely anti-Western in many aspects, and it's totalitarian. This is why we need a widespread Pan-American culture. I recommend looking toward creativity. Uh, the creativity movement of Ben Claussen, I think, is the best answer to this. Uh, of course, we have to adjust it to uh, seek for post-racialism and post-racial eugenics and seeking the best in in the individual and creating a group out of the best individuals as opposed to uh, you know making it all about the white folks but we need a culture based in physical culture in being tough in being strong and being healthy and we also need a culture in which men and women uh, operate in their traditional sex roles uh, for example, men need to be protective of women, and women need to be nurturing. Uh, we need to get back to traditional sex roles. This is something we have lost in the West. Uh, furthermore, we need to start operating on a way that is more inclusive. There, the, the new Pan-American culture needs to be tiered. There has to be different levels of um, understanding. For example, the people at the bottom may very well be extremely religious Bible thumpers. The people in the middle might be a little bit more enlightened. When you get to the top, you will find the true pantheists, the creators, if you will, that would be the mindset of these people that embrace true scientific pantheism and live by example. The ones at the top do not only live by living a life that is good and right, but they show the others that this is how you live and this is why you live this way. This is why I started doing the things on the uh, the seven deadly sins and I also want to follow up with the eight laws of health because the seven deadly sins are needed uh, in order to make right the actions of the individual to make the individual healthier, more prosperous, and more able to adjust oneself to reality. And uh, that's the gist of it. I, I will get more into the whole idea of a Pan-American culture in more subsequent videos, but that's all for now.